Alright. Yeah, it's on. Alright, so, um, yes, yeah, it's. No. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll, I'll go up. Um, so, yes, this is hey, it's JP Fan here, and uh, back again with JP Fan Podcast, working title. Uh, I'm joined here with Henderson Productions. So, yeah. Um, so, today's episode, we are just talking about um, the art of toy movies, basically, and uh, basically what is. and basically interviewing Henderson. Um, Thank you for being here. Uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> let's get, get the train moving. Um, so uh, basically, I have, I have less of what I need to tell you down right here. Ask you. Um, so your toy movies. Uh, are you you haven't done well? I mean, yes, you have done some, but are you working on like a a, a big project at the moment? Yeah, pretty much. I've been uh, working on. I've been working on and off on most horror movies. I've been trying to wait until I start collecting more, and it's basically why I'm in a slow process of uh, making movies at this point. Mm. Like usually back then, I was like at a fast process, and like especially back when I was starting on YouTube. But nowadays, I started to get started to try a little bit more harder and try my best to do something uh, new. And uh, sometimes, I mean, I do the and do something new. I just might remake some old idea I made it screwed up over and over. But at the same time, I'm like, again, I'm, I'm usually doing movies just for the uh, just for the people. I don't really do it necessarily for uh, like anything else other than that. But I do have a passion for film, and I get up to like again, like I'm more of a uh, person that loves to make movies mainly for the fun, and I really do have fun making these movies, especially also being inspired by the movies that I've seen. I, I can tell. I mean, you, you definitely have fun doing them. Yeah. In here. Uh, so, so right now, mostly what you've been doing is reviews. And that, so is that like to get ready like for Mattel to be in your new movies? Yep. Alright, that's good. So your next uh, title is um, End of Mitra? Yep, End of Mitra. Yeah. So... I don't, I don't spoil anything. Can you give us like a maybe a, a little bit sneak peek about that? Like, so it was like um like if I'm talking about the movie, like yeah. what's to come to the movie? Yeah, like not really spoilers wise, but you know, kind of. Oh, I'll just I'll keep it brief though. But based kind of inspired by Fallen Kingdom when I when I mainly think about it. As I seen, and as I've already seen the movie, I could get an idea where I uh, could think about. But like, I'm trying my best not to be exactly like the same thing as the movie because at times, if I could, if I draw similarities, I don't know if people are going to enjoy it much. But I know people are going to enjoy the movie since it's an idea that's inspired by the film. But I had, but the film, this, the film itself is basically a prequel to Hybrid Adventures. I'm trying, to, like, I'm the, getting things the, to set up. No, wait, like that's the, that's so, that's the, like, that's the series, right? Yeah, the, yeah, the series. Yeah, which, basically, the newest movies I'm making are basically a part of the series I'm making. Right, so they're it's all like the, are they all like connected, uh, like in like a what, universe, kind of cinematic universe, all your movies, or are they like, yeah, like one done? Sort of like that. My older movies from 2014 and 2017, I had to made I made a playlist of that one, like basically focused around like the older canon, and then the newest movies I'm making are then the new canon that I'm trying to make up because. Um, the older canon, while, like, the reason why I'm making this new one is because I definitely made a lot of mishaps in my older ones. So, in the newest front, in the newest ones, I'm definitely trying to do something uh, better than my older ones. So, this uh, new canon is, like, going to be a following around with Hybrid Adventures, which is the start of my uh, new French and, like, my new uh, canon. And then the uh, other movies, like Lost and Sona, and then the Return to Jurassic Park remake that I did. Is a part of the Hybrid Adventures logo. I mean, not logo, uh, series. And this latest movie is going to be a part of it as well, and a part of it, and uh, future movies that are also, I guess, remakes of the older ones that I'm possibly uh, might be doing. Oh, all right, all right, that, that works. And um, so basically, what you're saying is, uh, Hybrid Adventures is going to continue, um, like the series, or are you hold, putting on pause for the new movie. Yeah, I think so. I okay. I'm sorry. I, I think the the audio on that thing might be a little. It may be a little jumpy at, at times. 
it's not it's not it's not true. It's just the the audio being a little jumpy. So I think there might be a problem on the thing. It's just that just trying to get a point across. All right, all right, all right. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so um, so uh, so we, we stopped at the um we stopped at Hybrid Adventure series with the um the Megalodon basically, right? And then you gave us like a sneak peek of the next episode. But that, is that like in the works, or was it finished? Oh, that oh yeah, it's not finished yet. It's just a sneak. It's just a little work in progress of what's to come for the next episode. Even though I haven't finished episode four yet, which I'm still uh, trying to get more uh, material for that one, like uh, the submarine, and possibly try to get the most swords. Or I've been thinking about getting the uh, latest Jurassic World place that is coming out soon with the most swords and submarine and the Indominus Rex skeleton alongside that, like that place place said, just for uh, the two, just for the two uh, elements I'm missing for the uh, second part of the episode. Sorry. And it's Sorry. like I didn't have anything ready. I hadn't anything anything else ready for the uh, the uh, fourth episode yet, like the last part. And then episode five, I'll get see you later for that. See what I can do. Right, right, right. Um, and that's no, that's good. Um, sorry, it kind of jumped up. Do you say Lego? Or do you say Mattel? Because I I heard Lego, but I think you you meant Mattel, but I'm not sure. Sorry. Hey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um. So yeah, it's hard making toy movies though. Like I like how you have a schedule going on. Like we tried at, at my channel early on in our early stages. We tried a toy movie. We made one. Uh, we actually had it. It was like an hour or so long, and it got taken down for like copyright or something like that. So that was um unfortunate. We made a second one that was an hour and twenty minutes long, and that that took up so much space. And we thought we were doing the parts, but we couldn't do that. So. We gave up on that. So it's hard. It's impressive they can do that. Uh, I think I understand. It is. It is kind of tough actually doing a toy movie. For for me, it's uh like that same part is one part easy, and there's the hard part. Obviously, in every uh, toy movie I would make, the hardest part for me for making a toy movie is like getting through it all. Like what's outside the area. Like I'm at a certain filming location. And like there's like I usually just look around the area in case there's no wasps outside. I know I mentioned that in one of my update videos that I've made, but wasps usually are the one things that stop me from doing a movie. <laughs> yeah. it, it's the one thing I really get irritated with too. But although another the, another hard thing about it is also the editing. When it comes to editing the videos, it's like there are certain moments in my movies where there's like a split second alternate shot that is like still left in the movie. I'm just making that a, I'm making that a little point. And it's like it's difficult for me to try to edit a movie when there's just like a certain shot and then it's still left in there. That's why nowadays I'm trying my best to like at least be a little bit more longer on the takes and then cut in between those longer takes to see if I got it right. I was just like the things that I messed up before is the things I'll definitely be correcting over time. <laughs> that's that's good. Uh, um, so yeah, it's. It sounds like you're really dedicated to your passion. I like that. Yep. Yeah, I, I really like. I enjoy that. Um, okay. so, what software do you use? Like, you put music, you put sounds in. What software do you use? Hmm? What software do you use to make your uh, movies? Oh, Windows Movie Maker, for example. Like, that's okay. one of them. That that's the main software they use to edit the movie. The new and I, you also mentioned like what camera that I use for my uh, videos. Yeah. Oh, I basically use just a plain old Samsung phone. I don't know which I don't know which one, but it's a it's a newer model. But I don't know which one it is. I usually use a phone nowadays. Back then I used a tablet, and that, I was I think that back then was a little bit more difficult. That I would say because filming a movie with a large tablet in my hand and carrying yeah. doors and I used. Ask my little brother to help me out at most points, <laughs> or like for that sort of reason. Yeah. Uh, so speaking, of, you said your brother. Um. So do you guys like both like talk in your videos, or is it just like you solo, like in your in your movies? Because you guys sound alike at times. Like, mm, he has a channel thanks. himself. Okay, my little brother's channel. 
Yeah, he has one. I'm just saying. You guys kind of sounded like for the young, earlier days. So it's like just you in your movies. Like, do you have actors, or is it like just you doing the lines? Because a lot of it you can tell, but some you can't tell. Yeah, they are. They are. I understand that. Oh. I think the thing is, though, is that other part of his channel is supposed to be like a separate channel, but he, he, like he also like got in, and got to see my address part as well. And he uh, wants to make one himself. I occasionally, uh, well, obviously, I uh, help out with the movie. Basically, it's got the same filming, directing, and uh, editing style as my uh, like as my obvious movies on my main channel. But basically, it's like his idea instead of like the idea that I would come up with. And uh, the idea is that he has is basically different from Jurassic Park. It's not basically like the same as Jurassic Park. It's not like an address Park canon, but it's basically right. its own different thing. Right. I, I like that. Um, and so like, I was I kind of you kind of got into that, but what I was more of asking was, um, do you have more actors than yourself in your movies, or would you be interested? Oh right. Yeah. Basically, it was like sometimes I usually voice almost every character, but that was back then. Then I to try to build up with more voice actors like my little brother. And even I getting some guest uh, voice actors like, well, the voice actress who uh, started as uh, Denise from my uh, right. late, you know, my latest movie, Lost to Sona, and also even some of my other videos, I guess. I think so, yeah. And uh, she's also coming by for a return to Dr no, not return to Dress Park. I mean, uh, yeah, Jurassic Park re Rampage, the remake, is that one. Yeah, she can be also starting in the future film in case yeah. if I ever call her again. Yeah, I like that your new canon. You can, um, I like that you can uh, d put different characters, and they're your own original characters, and you can put them in different movies. I like that. Yeah. Like, um, Owen's brother in the series. Uh, he's not going to come. Uh, is he going to come back in, like, uh, future movies, or, like, what? Who is? Uh, John, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know, in the hybrid series. John Grady. Yeah, in the hybrid. John Grady. Oh, yeah. Brother. Yeah. That. Yeah, he's gonna come back eventually. Like, he's, he's definitely in the series. He's, uh, one of the main characters. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah like, I around for the, the uh, place to take care of the dinosaur. Yeah, I watched the series. Like, uh, I was just wondering if he was coming back for, like, movies and stuff. If he's gonna be in, like, he's part of the official canon now. I was wondering if he was in the, anyway. Like that, but he's, uh, one of the... So, going to each other. Um, like, so, I do like the fact that you put skin Spanish characters in different parts of the, um, uh, canon, which is nice. Um, so, I like that we, that we've, we've covered that. Um, just have a question for you. Um, how do you feel your, um, films would translate into movies? Like, it's probably not gonna happen, but I'm just asking if, well, how they would. Like, uh, like, come again, like, you mean, like, how the movies would probably connect to the, like, uh, like, my movies would connect to the Agile movies? Yeah, that, yeah, more like that, yes. What? Sorry. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't really know, though. I mean, basically, that make movies for fun. If I wanted to connect to the canon, I guess, but, not yet again, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Right. I like, yeah, I like that. Um, but um, in reality, I do like the fact that you, um, like I said, you're very dedicated to your passion, and um, like you only do it with like the household items and like the outside and your, the figures you buy, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, we're pretty we're pretty good on time. So. Um, I'm probably trying. I'm not gonna span too into Fallen Kingdom because that's for another um, uh, episode with another guy I've already got signed on. But um, I was wondering if um, this is my question. You did a video that you did like a remake, kind of like your toy movie version of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Would you be interested in doing that again? Like. Oh. Yeah, right. That video, that video clip I did uh, of Owen and Claire getting that tear. Okay. Right. Oh, I was uh, I was basically doing that for fun because no. yeah, I, I was still see that. And uh, I don't know if I have any interest to try to do some more like recreated clips of the movie because I have a feeling that someone else might do it. Like, 
I have a feeling that uh, Chris was it Chris Carmel who yeah him yeah yeah the, uh, I know him the movies yeah it was him I have a feeling that he might do it someday. Um, I don't know if you know, but I don't know if you know the guy, but Red uh, Hanya or something like that. If he, he he was like one of the creators of like the, the oh, Red Hanya. yeah Red Hanya. Um, yeah, him. He did a Jurassic. Yeah. He did a Jurassic Park: yeah. Lost World yeah. one. Or it be uh, Chris Carmel. I'm talking about like at the moment. Uh, Red Hanya did something similar. Like he made the Lost World. Um, like he made that all in uh, yeah. Yeah. toys, which is pretty. It's pretty awesome what he did. And um, I say that yeah. is more like the things that like you you won't you won't do that like you will not recreate a movie scenes because you're doing it for fun. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Okay. Um. So. Okay. Um. Second. Uh. So another another question I've got. Uh. Your, your second channel. Um. I'm not gonna go too much into that, but I do like. I just want to say, I do like your Jaws. Uh, Jaws movies there. Um, you don't use real water though. You use like um, you, you use like uh, blankets and towels, I guess. Oh yeah, I do use. I, oh yeah, right. I do use uh, blankets most of the time for uh, like I have to water, like blanket, water scenes. mostly just to simulate water. Right, right. Like like in the uh, Hyper Adventure and series. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. It's I mean, um, it's the Jerry Audio. Yeah, right. Um, I actually had, sorry, uh, I actually had for, um, one of my, uh, the toy movie I, I mentioned earlier, the toy movie that we were making, I had a can of fake blood that I bought from, like, a Halloween store, and that looks so real, and it was so good. Um, you might, I, I'm not saying you have to, but that's probably a good thing to look into. It looked really realistic, and not putting on your figures, but, like, in the grass and stuff. It's easy to clean up, and it's everything like that. Just a recommendation. Sorry, is this the... Yeah. I'm <laughs> um, this is too awkward. Yeah, it's it's kind of choppy audio and it's like you ask me again and it's like, oh uh, sorry, I must have cut out. Um it's unfortunate. Uh what I'm saying is like fake blood is like a good thing to invest into. It's easy to clean up is what I found out, and um it you don't put on your figures more or less unless you have copies like I did. Um you more or less just use it for like scenes and like have it on the grass and have it like go down like you know if someone's being eaten by T-Rex that you spray it down you know Well, what I do currently, like we are, we were in, in the, like I told you, we were in the making of a twin movie because we were actually inspired by you, Chris Carmel, and Red Hanya, but uh, you especially because you actually take it to the next level. Um, we uh, we we went to the uh, store and we bought these little figures, right? Like they're dollar store figures, but they look they work great, right? And then we'll buy like two or three of them. And then we'll have them in different scenes. So, like, if I wanted to, like, chop off one of his heads with, with like, a, one of these knives, like, exacto knife, and then I'll have, like, like you know, marker or fake blood on them. That's that's something we, we used to do. And we still have a figure left over to, like, use for movies. Okay. That's what we did. So. It's good, like, like you have, you take figures from, like, the, the Animal Planet to toy line from, like, tar for Toys R Us. Sadly, it's closed, unfortunately. Yeah. Yep, yep, sadly. Mm. That's kind of funny, really, because I started out just using 
like majority of him playing stuff in later on movies, and then later on starting to collect more Jurassic Park stuff. Just to try to make my movies less like you know, like more like Jurassic Park than just getting like non Jurassic Park stuff for movies. Right. Right, right, right. I understand. The sets that you use from the Animal Planet, the sets used from the Animal Planet was actually pretty cool because they're not official licensed, but they still look like they could be. Yeah, yeah, that's another good thing though. They're also convenient. Like they look like they could be from a movie, and a lot of them are actually ripped off from kind of kind of things. So you weren't lucky enough to get like '90s kind of, which I, I, I'm in my mid. You know, I'm a mid to tw teens. Actually, I'm more to the latter side, but that, that doesn't matter. Um, I'm actually that. That's more of what I could get a hold of when you know the dry spell of Jurassic Park toys. All you got was 2K9. Yeah. I still have that. Yeah. I still have that bull T-Rex re repaint from 2K9, but that's just the point. Like, oh, Jurassic Park. 2K9. Um, you have some. That was like oh, I think you have some 2K9. If, if I remember in one of your toy movies. Which is, I think, they they work they work all well. Cause so I have Dress Park Three, Two K Nine, and some Canon that I've acquired over the years. Mhm. Mm yeah. Like, yeah. Some of my movies, like even before uh, the new, what the latest ones I've made, started to collect more figures. I was uh, like, really, the Two K was really on my mind when I was starting to start to collect the figures. But, but even back when I was starting to see. The Jurassic Park toys and such. Good. I actually tell you the truth, back then, ever since Jurassic Park 3, it was rare for me to start seeing Jurassic Park toys. But then now, when I started to go around around 2008 or 2009, I guess, like during that time period, that was like, when I started to discover more about Jurassic Park stuff. And then the no. 2K9 stuff was really on my mind. But then until 2013, when Jurassic Park was turning 20, and they released the movie in 3D, that's what? when I started to see uh, the swords in the ship. They, no, no, more like I thought. Like for the re actually, there was supposed to be a 2011 line. If you do, if you remember, with a bunch of GI Joe kind of style figures, that was scrapped. They looked really good. They looked anything better than Hasbro made in the past. I don't know how you feel about Hasbro's yeah, toy line. Too. I feel like it was um, garbage, in my opinion. There were some good toys, but most of it was garbage. Rubbish, I should say, but you know. Um, that's like, my opinion. I, you, you can think whatever you want, alright, guys? I just think that I do yeah. not like what they did with it. Um, so, a lot of things that, like, there was supposed to be like that toys, but 2013 came along and all we got was like two, um, the Allosaurus Assault and then the Pachyrhinosaurus thing, if you if you remember that. I only got the Allosaurus one. I didn't get the other one because I didn't like it at the time. I was younger yeah. at the time. I wasn't that young, but I was still, you know, pretty young. I still remember the time I actually first saw the uh, Pachyrhinosaurus. I didn't, like, when I was up there in the store, the Toys R Us stores, I never saw the Allosaurus set, like, in That's person. all I saw. That's all I saw. That's all I saw. I never got Pachyrhinosaurus, except for I saw it one time, and I was like, not worth it. So there's that, the uh, JP3, the, no, the JP3 repaint of the Raptor. You know the electronic Raptor JP3 that they repainted. Yeah. I have that, and I have a bunch of the other ones from like 2K9 that they repainted and stuff like that. It's like they never stay, they never stop, you know. Yeah. But I like the fact that we can go into you can go into a store now and then they'll have like the toys, and then you you can pick and yeah. choose. You know, scalpers are a lot are selling them on a lot for eBay and stuff like that. But a good thing is you can get a lot of yeah. them for like fairly priced on eBay and stuff. I've never never found the Mosasaurus. Yeah, Mo nev I've never found the Mosasaurus though, which is yeah. which is sad. So I'm waiting for that you know place that Mosasaurus submarine the skull or the skeleton. So yeah, I'm waiting for that to come out. You know. Yeah, I'm waiting for it too. Cause I'm excited. Cause it actually comes with the figure. It actually comes with one of the figures, the pilots, which is nice. Cause that's a new figure. Alright, so we might have to come this, wrap this up, because it's coming to a close. Um, right, I've got, I got a few more minutes. We can talk, if you would like. Um, so, your sets. Um, you've, have you ever, you ever film like, if it's like a rainy day and you want to shoot, do you like stop shooting, or do you film, like in a different location, like inside, or something like that? 
Um, wait, I, 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 what was that again? Like, how, like if it's like a rainy day, if, if if it's like a rainy day per se, and you really want to film, will you film inside or wait like film some scenes inside like ahead of time, or like what will you do? Like, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, right. Usually I film whenever I get time, whenever I get the time. Like whenever the weather's really good, and whenever the weather is good, I could go and come. But whenever I don't have anything planned or I don't have any collecting, like have any figures collected, I don't really film yet. And but uh, I do, I do usually film on rainy days. <laughs> yeah, I per se don't want to get my camera wet, and I do not want to get the uh, figures wet per se. That's my, that's my opinion. Oh right. That's, uh, that does remind me, um, Hybrid Adventures Episode 2, I did get to film in most of the rain. Right. And successfully, I didn't get most of my equipment and stuff wet. I mean, the figures, almost, but basically the camera and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's nice. Actually, well, what we had an idea for is, um, where I, I have, like, two houses, and it's always rainy here, you know? Um... It's always raining here. Ah, uh, but when there's a when it's a sunny day, we'll go out into like a there's a park near our house. It's got a bunch of woods, and um, we'll go there and we'll set up like a tent if there's like a rain, you know, something like a little tent kind of thing, like a little you know, one of those like kind of party things. And then we'll have like there, and if anything goes wrong, we'll bring our stuff here. I say they because there's two people on two people on the channel, you know. So. Yeah. It's not like he's not he's not he's my friend, he's like my partner and friends, he's not actually like my brother or anything. Don't want, don't wanna get a copyright strike, man. Don't don't do that. So what will the song that's playing in the background? Yeah, is don't, it that or just it's just my TV playing. Uh-huh, it just says don't don't wanna get a copyright strike. Yeah. Uh it probably won't. I'm just I, I, I was just kinda kidding. I think the video won't get it. I mean, the quality of this may not be yeah. well. <laughs> it's hopefully it's not. Um, yeah. Uh, so yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, so much, so much for uh, you know, being here and talking with me. I think thank you guys so much yeah. for watching. Sure. Um, uh, just if you, if you haven't, because I have some subscribers. I have like almost three hundred guys. Thank you guys for that. Almost three hundred. He has ten thousand. So go check out his channel, man. I mean, come on. Yeah. He's like mine, but better. So go check that out, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Uh, bye.